Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. Uh, first patient's mind, make sure you stay tuned for the second patient. Taylor has a perforate leader and one to go through with you later on. It's good one there. Yeah. Um, so this was a tough one. This is really, really dry hard wax really deep inside the ear canal as well not an easy one to remove uh, it's not really budging particularly well here with the suction it's moving but it's not really coming out but what i can see is some very thin little fibers in here as well uh, which means the patient has been using some cotton buds to remove the wax and what it's effectively done, some of the fibres have come off, bound into the wax, and you've ended up with a really, really tough plug coming through. Mm, suspicious. I know, yes. <laughs> uh, so it is coming away, uh, you know, slowly, but surely it yeah. is coming out. Well, you can see it's starting to detach off that ear canal wall. Yeah. Right? Oh, a lot of dry, like thick, like greyish, yeah. dead skin on the sides there. Just try to turn it at the moment, just to get a smoother... <laughs> A smoother part to get a good, a better grip on. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm losing my voice if I sound a little bit more squeaky today. <clears throat> we voiced over a couple today, and we. Oh, we yeah, done a few. I think we've done, we've done a few videos in a batch today. Um, so we're just trying. See, this is one of me about those fibres. We've got the grip on the outside edge, but those fibres are bound into the hard wax beyond it, so we can't pull this through. It kind of acts like a mesh half the time yeah. as well, if you, especially if you get a lot of it, and it happens with hair as well yes uh yeah very very difficult to get a suction grip on a lot of the time look at that Ooh, you can see all the uh, it's just disappearing down in there i was hoping it was all gonna uh kind of pull forwards but it doesn't appear to have done that unfortunately let's gonna try and give this a bit of a wiggle it, they're really frustrating because you just you just want them to start coming loose but there's yeah. just nothing you can do with the, the, the power of the suction <laughs> no I mean, we can change the power of the suction but you know a lot of the cases when you know the wax is like this we normally use it the highest yeah. suction we, to try and get it out anyway. so I'm just trying to get a grip now I'm hoping that those fibres are going to penetrate all the way through this plug and as we pull the whole plug is going to come out Ooh. uh but it didn't. Mm, no. It just sheared off. We got that, that front section, we'd loosened up. The difficulty is, is when it's really compacted like that, you can't, you need looser edges to get grips on, don't you? And that's yeah. the problem we have here. It's not really giving us many loose edges. Looks like it's jammed right oh. down in there as well, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Starting to come away there, no? This is, that's the edge you was on about there. Yeah. You, you start pulling that across there, no? Hopefully that'll kind of turn the whole thing. No. <laughs> it just kind of scooted. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it just took that thick character layer from the ones. I was that's exactly what I was hoping it was going to do as well. <laughs> just but it just didn't do it. It just decided the character layer was just going to come out on his own. Um, so we are still left with this hard plug now. Oh, this is. You can't get any further than this, to be fair. No. Well, you're in your brain, aren't you, really? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Point into the other ear yeah. if you go much further than that. <laughs> Straight through as yeah. long as <laughs> So it is very, very deep. You can see that hard keratin layer sitting behind it that's hanging yeah. on to it. That's why it doesn't want to budge. It's just, it's just moving this around at the moment. It's not mm. really pulling anything out. It's just going from side to side. They almost kind of get to a point, don't they, like these ones where they're really difficult to to, to remove easily. Yeah. It normally gets to the you know the stage where you're like, right, I'm coming towards the end of the appointment now. And yeah. It's, it's coming, but it's not coming quick enough. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly uh, right. The thing is, you could throw the olive oil in here, but looks if you look at the right hand, well, the viewer's right hand side, yeah. it looks quite wet in there anyway. So it looks like there's a bit of oil down the side. You know, I, I, yeah. It's trying to find some way. I'm just kind of holding the suction tube there, but it's just pulling small bits off. Very frustrating. This one is. This one is. You know, wax, as we keep saying, wax should never be this deep in the ear canal anyway. This should just be <coughs> skin at this point, really. Yeah. Uh, the ear canal is not designed to expel wax from this deep in, it's designed to expel skin. Uh, and it's just not 
really coping with this that's jammed down in there. Because we do see a lot of cases where, similar to this actually, maybe not so deep into the ear, but you know, we've had people in the past where they've cancelled appointments where, you know, it's really blocked up one minute and then all of a sudden they like move the ear or wake mm. up and it's cleared. Um, and they think, oh, it's done, it's gone, yeah. it's cleared, it's fixed. If that does happen to you, still see your practitioner. Yeah. Because it is chances are it's still in there. It's, it's just moved. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's right. just moved a little bit. Unless you see a giant lump fall out of your ear of wax, uh, the chances are it's just, just moved and created a gap. Look at those fibers yeah. now. Look, can you see that? That almost does look like there's a ball of cotton wool. No, I did there. wonder at this point whether it was the end of a Q-tip that was jammed mm. down in there, but it's not. It is purely just wax. Wow. But just lots of loose fibers coming off. They've given this a good old go to you. They have, haven't they? They've really jammed that in there. Let's see if we can get that edge. Oh, you just really want this bit to all come in one go? Yeah, it just looks like it's matted down in there, isn't it? It's not even, well, it's loosening, but that back section there just doesn't seem to have changed. It doesn't seem to have altered in shape at all, does it, since we started? Stuck. Let's see if we can grab that. I'm trying to, the suction tube, I'm not trying to pull it out with the suction tube, I'm trying to loosen <coughs> the fibers out to get something to grip on with the, the forceps at the moment. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Is it gonna pull? Oh, Ooh, that looks promising. It does, it does. Oh, look at that. Even that's taken a, a layer of it away from yeah. me. I don't think that's all of it. To, uh, I, it's, Honestly, I can't no, remember. No. But it's just Nearly. still, look, it's still all down there. We can, I think we can just, yeah, we just start, start to see the edge of the eardrum. But look how, uh, just look how impacted that is against that drum. You know, imagine this patient now just wouldn't be able to hear a, a thing. There's just nothing at all. And it only takes that one just to go boom, and then, yeah. you know. Hearing's completely changed. Oh yeah, plenty of oil in there, no? Yeah, just just soaked it in olive oil. <laughs> it's just, just throw everything in there, buckets of it. <laughs> it's plain <laughs> yeah. Pouring out. It, but it's uh, it's starting to loosen from that bottom section, but this is really hardened up onto the drum as well, isn't it? Yeah. Is this gonna we gonna be able to wiggle this? Oh, a bit more of a wiggle. Well, you can can just kind of, I was yeah, just going to say, you can from the see top. it starting to peel away from the eardrum as well. Brilliant. Oh, just lost the grip. Oh, there it comes. Is it going to come out as one? I think, I think there's a little bit left on the drum. Oh. I think, I can't quite remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just the fine end now, just because we're doing a little bit more delicate work. Can all this come away? Yeah. Well, don't forget anyway, guys, if you, uh, if you yes, haven't. Yes, I'm sorry, but I was, I was, I was totally the transfixed there. There's somebody said that in the comment section the other day. He said, we love it when you guys just get totally fixated on what you do and forget to voice over. <laughs> yeah, we, see, we do that sometimes. Sorry, we were so transfixed on what was yeah. happening there. Yeah, so if you are having some issues with your ears and you'd like to come and see us, uh, visit our website in the bio mm -hmm. and you know me and the fantastic Mr. Barber will uh, more than happily see you in either of our clinics. Yep. Oh, look at that oh. coming away. Nice. That's what you like to see. Nice. Oh, see, oh, there's this piece now down here now. I think this is the bit that's so hard it doesn't want to come off the drum. I think it's this piece. Yeah, I'm holding on to that, but it's just not budging. Uh, I think with this patient, I think I go in and just irrigate that last little piece off because I don't want that drying on the drain. <clears throat> I can't remember now. I can't say I can't remember. It's gone. It's gone. I think <laughs> I do. Gone. I can't quite remember. <clears throat> yeah, you can see. It. Yes, I did. I went in and irrigated then ah. just to get those two pieces off just because I didn't want that piece, that really, really hard piece staying on that drum yeah. at all. Uh, but look at that from one ear canal, four centimeters. What's that, two, 
two yeah. and a, I can't even see the numbers. Inch and, I need inch glasses. <laughs> <laughs> two, two and two and a inch and five and eights. And a inch and five <laughs> eights, says, buddy. Yeah. I have got big. I got my readers on today, so I can see it. Uh, so this is your patient. Now we can tell because there's a little T in the top. Oh yeah, it's the new editing. Yeah, the new editing thing. See, if we see the R or a T at the beginning, we know which one. Is, which one of us has done it? Because because Taylor now has the superior camera. Don't <sighs> we do. Yeah, no, we now have a superior camera. So yeah, this was a really interesting one, actually. Um, this particular patient was uh, has has generally always suffered with um, hearing loss in the one side. Um, has had a previous perforation. Um, wasn't really sure how the perforation happened, yeah. uh, but was told that it had healed over. Um, so, yeah, this is the patient that we actually have the perforation. So the perforation is actually reopened, uh, which the patient actually didn't wasn't aware of. Um, just thought it was the wax building up. Which, you know, understandably, we at first would have thought, yes, you know, there's a lot of wax in there. But, yeah, we've um, taken a really close good look at the eardrum and, yeah, have figured out that it's reopened. <laughs> ah, it's, it's not unusual sometimes for perforations because they will heal. Uh, and you won't have those radial fibres quite so much yeah. in, in the middle part of that. Uh, the, the, the tense stimuli is, is three different layers thick and it's the radial fibres sometimes. Yeah. You just don't quite get those knitting back together. It's quite a large perforation, actually. It's not not a complete perforation, but it's it's quite a big perforation. So you can see the waxing is very, very sort of sticky, and there's already a gap above that wax. So I wouldn't have really thought this would have made much of a difference to the hearing, the wax mm. in there, just purely because of that gap that was going down to the eardrum. Mm -hmm. Now, this patient had actually been using some oil. Now, we'd normally advise against olive oil with perforations. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this patient had used a little bit before coming in, but stopped it after the one use because they found it a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and there Oof. we go. You can see that. You that's see sort the of, ear yeah. Space. So that's that's actually the middle ear space you can see behind there. So that's a, yeah, that's a that's a really it's interesting a sort of one. quite a big perforation there. So if you go any water or oil through that gap, you run the risk of both infection and they will be quite uncomfortable for yeah. the patient when they so. Normally, if, if the patient clerks in, they say they've got a perforation. I mean, we yeah. usually ask, but some, you know, some patients just don't even know they've got it. Um, we will say, you know, don't yeah. use any oil. So, yeah, I'd, I've, I would have referred that patient back to the GP just to get that looked at, just purely because he wasn't aware that it had reopened. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've got that um, investigated. This is a pretty easy one uh, nice, just nice and literally come out yeah nice and straightforward come out in literally seconds they were always good ones to do oh, i wish everyone was like that <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> but then again our compilations will have about they, 15 they, or 16 yeah. different videos that's true that is yeah we spend about 20 <laughs> yeah. hours a week editing yeah <laughs> but there we are eardrum looking much better like perfect eardrum on the other side so, yeah all looking nice, nice and healthy nice and healthy there we are. What's that? So I'm going to do inches. Go on. Half an, half an inch. Yeah. Uh, a centimeter and a half. I probably, if I turned that the long yeah. way around, I probably would have got about an inch and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, guys, thank you very much for watching our video again today. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them into the comment section and we will try and do a little short video answering some of those for you. Uh, but as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another and myself and the splendiferous Mr. Taylor Green. We'll see you for the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.